It fixed my problem, especially the displacement map, because usually the displacement map only used in like big studio, Pixar, Disney. Yeah, they're able to use that because they got random farm. Kalau computer lama saya buat macam tu, maybe ambil masa dalam 14 ke 15 saat. But this one, 7 saat eh. That's what I told you just now, it's like, uh, you're currently driving a, a, a Proton and then suddenly you're given a Bugatti. Okay, so the processor we'll be talking about today is the AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro series of processor. It is the 32 core variant of the processor, which is the 5975WX. It is a 32 core, 64 threads processor with a base clock speed of 3.6 GHz and is able to turbo boost up to 4.5 GHz. Of course, if you're feeling adventurous, overclocking is supported on this processor. This processor will have 128 megabytes of level 3 cache, making it very big in terms of cache size. Now, besides 128 megabyte of level 3 cache, this processor also sports 128 PCIe lanes. Now, that's a lot of lanes with the potential of adding multi-GPU or a lot more audio cards or even just NVMe storages. Why this is important is because this allows for all your multi-GPU setups, if you're going for that, to be running at full bandwidth, which a normal desktop processor is, is unable to do. Having multiple GPU setup allows for faster render times at software such as WG Resolve or even Maya 3D with your Arno renderer. So a thing to mention about the AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 5000 series of processor is that it shares the same platform as the 3000 series meaning that for owners of this platform, will be easily able to upgrade to the current 5000 series by just socketing the new CPU. Now, similar to the previous generation, it also supports two terabytes of RAM along with ECC RAM support, but this will vary from motherboard to motherboard. And a unique thing is that it also supports eight memory channel, meaning that every memory lane will have its own memory channel. I should point out as well, like all HEDT processors, it won't have a cooler included. So make sure you find a cooler that is able to handle the power of this processor, which is 280 watts. We recommend a minimum of a 360 AIO to handle all of the power of this processor. And you might be wondering, why so many Corsair components? Well, it's tested, proven, and certified for AMD Threadripper platforms. Now with all that, how does this processor actually performs? Well, we ran a few benchmark and here is our testing configuration. Oh, a note to make as well, we won't be doing any gaming benchmark on this system as we believe that the Threadripper Pro is not really made for that. So instead, we'll be focusing on productivity benchmark. Let's go! are some impressive benchmark result, but I don't think you'll be buying a Threadripper Pro processor based on the benchmark numbers alone. Because of that, we have decided to put this 
processor in real-world tests and have invited a few special guests from different professions to try out this processor. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, my name is Ho Yi. Uh, I'm actually uh, a 3D animation lecturer and I've been working, I've been teaching about more than 15 years. Uh, nama saya Amiro Bakri. Uh, saya merupakan full-time video editor di uh, Zio Online. My name is uh, Chiu Oitek. I run a computational design uh, firm. This computational design firm actually we have uh, multi disciplines. We have uh, engineers, we have uh, designer as well as uh, architect. Okay, my name is Frederick. Okay, I'm a corporate event designer. My company name is Aki Communication. So basically, um, I'll design um, stage backdrop for conferences, gala dinners, awards, um, product launching, and outdoor events and all that. So mostly corporate. So most of my clients are mostly based in overseas, from China, Singapore, Hong Kong. Yep, I've been doing this uh, for 22 years, since 2000. Yep. My name is Chen. My name is Chen. My name is Chen Dalong. My company is mostly in the Moen Dai. Moen Dai is a car and a car. So my company is called ADJ. So in Moen Dai, we mainly have some customers who are building some machines, some machines, some machines, plastic machines and injection machines, some stamping, metal stamping that we are doing. So our customers are mainly Proton, Proto and their vendors. We mainly do this to help them build. And some new plastic injection machines we are doing. So most of the time, I'm, I'm using a software called Maya. Uh, for 3D, I think the most challenging part is rendering. Okay, we, you need a good processor okay, in order to make your job done faster. So another thing uh, that I always facing is to render in, uh, in industry, we call the displacement map. Okay, displacement map is a term that you need a real tessellations and polygons bump in real things, in the, in the real size. So if that PC or that processor is not good enough, that might be a problem. Okay, uh, untuk editing software, uh, untuk video, saya menggunakan Adobe Premiere Pro. Dan untuk foto, saya menggunakan uh, Photoshop dan juga Lightroom. Okay, untuk katakan file yang paling susah, paling berat uh, pernah saya buat adalah uh, satu video uh, duration dia dalam one hour, satu jam ianya pasal uh, online um, convocation so dekat situ um, footage daripada kamera memang lama, panjang and then we shoot dalam 4K juga and then um, bila kita nak letak animation, kita nak letak um, title and everything so dia punya timeline tu dah start bertindih banyak tau bila benda dah start bertindih banyak dalam timeline, bila kita nak play dalam real time playback, so dia akan jadi starter, dia akan jadi lag so dia tak smooth, bila kita letak efek lagi dalam footage tu, macam nak stabilize ke apa, ataupun time lapse kita speed up dia punya duration dia to 1000 so dia akan jadi lagi slow so kita tak dapat um, playback benda tu dalam full resolution sebenarnya so, kita kena play in half tu mengganggu lah kita punya productivity lah untuk buat editing so uh, we use uh, various types of uh, software CAD software, AutoCAD and, uh, or, and Grasshopper, Step Pro and also the simulation software such as uh, NSYS and Ideastica. My experience uh, dealing with those uh, heavy files are, we don't measure the file by the size, but we measure the time it takes to, to run and then also to get the, the result. The main software that I'm using now is actually SketchUp and um, um, tied with the V-Ray for rendering. And then um, Adobe software like Illustrator and Photoshop, mostly. In 3D, 
the line works or the polygons and the geometrical works, line work that you created in the 3D modeling, uh, that actually determines the how heavy the files are. So the more line works, uh, the more polygons uh, or geometrical uh, line work that you created, uh, it will make your file very heavy. So normally rendering with you know intensive lighting intensive uh, modeling that is the main uh, hassle i would say or, or problem that uh, i'm sure most of the designer face during rendering the time the speed the main thing you need to have to 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 have a smooth uh, 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 workflow Woman, Tong Chang, Woman, Sui Yong, Woman, Benson, Woman, Yong, Sorry Word, Master Can, Auto Cat, Jay, Shay, Sobera, Ranho, Woka, who Haman, Chu, Yao, Dosu, Yong, Katia, Amy, Jai, Automotive Industry, Hanto, Haman, Dosu, Yong, Katia, Fuse of Proton, Produ, Hotel, Sampai, BMW, Toyota, Haman, Hanto, Dosu, Yong, Katia, the Yoga Sobe. Two Chen, Woman, you mean to go to the Tui Ta, the Eka Fao, Woman, Sui, Cho, Itchen, Tao, the Naika, Cho, the Ho, we guy. 它的一整套的一个模具就是整套的SMB,SMB的整套的一个模具。所以当时这个drawing是我的客户他们provide给我们,就是我们要帮他做一点modification,在那个mode那边。所以当时他给我们的一个file是大概有800多,800多megapixel
saving of the computational time and then to the the time taken to generate the graphic presentation is is a uh, amazingly uh, one hundred percent faster than the, what we are usually doing. Wow, this is like uh, if compared to the recent the uh, the the current one that I'm using right now is is a no brainer. I mean that's what I told you just now. It's like uh, you're currently driving a, a a proton and then suddenly you're given a Bugatti things like that. It's like wow, this is. It will really uh, help in um, time. I mean, it's, it's stressless. It's like you, don't have, you don't feel any stress working. Uh, when I try out just now, it's like everything is like so smooth. It's like really smooth in 3D modeling and, and you try rendering. It's like, wow, look at the bar. It's like just move like, you know, no roadblocks. Everything's like highway. <laughs> it's like so smooth. <laughs> it really, really it saves you up time. Time some money, you know. For designer, it's like, you know, you you want your work to be as smooth as possible. No hiccups, no um, no hassle. Everything is like smooth. And this machine really, you provide you that lah for sure. 我刚才这样子试用了这一台电脑，我是觉得比。我们目前用的都好了因为刚才我开了这个包的话我如果用我的电脑来开是需要差不多半个小时啊所以刚才我开了这样子的话只是用了一个六分钟所以这一个六分钟就缩短了我差不多五倍的时间了是其实很大的